Let's see if we can reduce our voltage signal by having a voltage divider. This resistor here is a high precision resistor of 2 kilo ohms, 2000 ohms. And this resistor is our brown, black, orange again, that's 10 kilo ohms. So if I connect this one to plus 5 volts and connect the other end of it to the 2K resistor, and the 2K resistor is connected to ground, then I should see 5 volts right here, which I do, and 0 volts right here, which I do, and in the middle, in between these two resistors in series, there should be a much bigger voltage drop across this one, 10,000 ohms, than across this one, 2,000 ohms. And let's measure that. I get 8.35 volts. If we have a resistance and another resistance, then this will be 5 volts, that will be 0 volts, and this will be some in-between voltage. Now in the example we did, this was a 10K resistor, 10,000 ohms, and this was a 2,000 ohm resistor. These resistors are in series, so the resistance is add, so the total R is R1 plus R2, if we make that R1 and that R2. So in this case, the resistance is then 10 plus 2 is 12, 12,000 ohms. V is still equal to IR, or I equal to V over R. If we take 5 volts, divide it by 12,000, then we wind up with 0 0.418 thousandths of an amp, milliamps, flowing through this series circuit, two resistances in series. So we can then figure out what the voltage ought to be in there. It would, the voltage difference between these two points will also obey V equals IR. If I is point 418, because the current that flows through here is also the same as the current that flows through here, is the current through the entire combined circuit. So 0.418 milliamps times 2000 ohms gives me 0 0.836. And earlier on, we checked and measured that, and I got 0 0.835 measured. So that's a good conf confirmation.